market here in Buffalo really is a destination, especially at this time of the year with Easter just around the corner. But outside of Easter season, business owners say it's pretty quiet down there. That's why the Broadway Fillmore neighborhood is hoping that the city finally decides on the central terminal as being the new home for a Buffalo train station. Here's 7 Eyewitness News reporter Sierra Johnson. With the ribbon now cut, the Broadway market is in full swing for the Easter season and local lawmakers once again discussing ways to make the market more than a seasonal destination. Councilmember Franzak also mentioned the police substation uh, that we will be bringing to the Broadway market. Announced during the mayor's state of the city address in February, Buffalo police plan to open a substation in this area. We'll have at least 30 police officers when the substation is installed in and out of the Broadway market each and every day, seven days a week. And just blocks away, Central Terminal. Local lawmakers once again pulling the station that last saw a train in 1979 back into the conversation. Now, uh, you know what I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut to the chase. The fact of the matter is, is that we need to have the train station right here on the east side of Buffalo. Consultants on the project estimate it would cost around $37.5 million to bring the vacant site back to life. But Buffalo Councilman Dave Franzak says it's a project this community desperately needs. It gives hope to the people in this neighborhood that they're not uh, being neglected in any way. And it's not just local leaders looking for change. Yeah, this is the biggest season. This is big time for me. Shop owners in the Broadway market like Terry Dabney say a majority of their business come from this two-week rush. And the idea of more transit and more security is a welcome sight. We're bringing a lot of people into Buffalo. Um, just a lot more transportation, commuting back and forth for people. It, it just needs to be a lot more movement in the city. In Buffalo, Sierra Johnson, 7 Eyewitness News.